Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to check a username is present in the database or not, okay, using Django and HTMX. So, I hope you know Django and I'll tell you about HTMX. HTMX is a great tool. I love it. It makes my life easier and I bet you will love me also because I'm making your life easier, right? Yeah, let's see. So, uh, let me tell you about the setup. I have a very simple setup. So I have a HTML file, I have a view and a simple URL and I'm keeping it very simple. I'm I'll be showing you how it works and rest is on you, how you're going to implement it on your project and wherever you want to use, right? Just to, just try to understand how it works and let's see, okay? So let's start with the URL. I'll create a new URL. Let's name it check username, check username, check username, and check username. Now I'll create the view, check username, request, and I have named it username, right? So I have to access the username. The user is giving the input. So I do I have to do request dot post dot get. That's how I'll get the username, right? You know this. And next I'll check. As you can see, I have imported get user model by which I can see what users are present present on the database and i can also show you in the admin panel i have two account which is one username is admin another one is papan and let me write this condition if get user model don't forget to put the parentheses that objects that filter username is equal to username i'm checking if it exists or not if it exists what i'll do i'll have to send a response i'll send a html response for example i'll say dev i'll tell you why i'm sending like this because i'll give a color red and next i'll call it this username already exists Don't use this one this is booked else I'll just copy this part and I'll make it green green signal you can use this one this one is available this username is available. this and I think our view is ready and I we have our URL is also URL is also ready so let's let's try writing everything inside the HTML. So the first thing we have to do is we have to say which URL hx post URL and we have named it check username. The next is hx target. So target here we will be showing the message. The message we have written inside HTTP response. So let's name it username check and the most important part hx trigger and let me explain what is this so we are saying hx trigger is equal to key up because while we will be typing the username at the same time we can see the message like if this username is it exists or not live right so dev the final thing i'm writing is which is the placeholder where the message will be shown which we are sending from the views http response right so yeah this looks good our html file looks good our view looks good so everything looks good let's test it so so i'll write add see this is available m still available i still available but what if i do admin see it says this username already exists as you can see here Let's let's test the second one. So Papan. So Papan already exists. But if I if I do a backspace, see Papa <laughs> Papa is available. 
so that's how it works easy right thank you for watching the video bye bye